Well, everyone, ChatGPT is one of those types of applications that a bunch of people go through and use. It's probably one of the most used applications right now, and you might be trying to figure out what the differences are between the free version of ChatGPT and ChatGPT Pro or ChatGPT Plus, but in this case, it's going to be the Pro model. Now, here's the thing. From a price tag standpoint, there is a massive difference between these particular models. So ChatGPT free, as you can know, is just a free version of ChatGPT. So you can go through, you can use it as much as you want to. There are limitations to it, but for the most part, you do have the option of still using, you know, ChatGPT and, you know, it's still working. You do have access to certain newer, cooler models, but even ChatGPT plus is, you know, significantly better than ChatGPT free, but it's, you know, free. ChatGPT pro is $200. So it's $200 per month. That is a massive difference. Going from free to $200 a month, it's a big, big difference. And that right there, it is in and of itself going to be one of the changing factors here. So that is in and of itself one of the things you're going to have to take a look at and probably think about as to you know which one is going to be the better one for you. I genuinely think that is a really, really big thing to keep in mind there from that particular perspective. Now, you have to remember, ChatGPT Pro is just a more commercial, I think, option than ChatGPT Plus. So with the Plus model, although this is a personal option, this is not necessarily like the you know business model, this is a little bit different because it gives you everything in Plus. So it gives you those higher limits. It gives you everything like that, higher limit and file uploads and everything. You do get unlimited access to all reasoning models, including ChatGPT 4.0. So that GPT-4 all model is completely, you are getting unlimited access to that completely inside of the pro option. You also have unlimited access to advanced voice. You also get extended access to deep research, which conducts multi-step online research for complex tasks. So that one is just a more complicated thing. Now with the free version, you get some of those things, but you don't get it to that level. So that right there could be another big takeaway. You do get access to research previews of GPT 4.5 and operator. So that in and of itself is another really cool thing. You have access to O1 Pro mode, which uses more compute for the best answers to the hardest questions. And then you have extended access to Sora video generation. So it's, you know, the chat GPT plus gives you kind of some limited access. Now with GPT, you know, chat GPT Pro, you get extended access there. So that right there is another really big thing to keep in mind there too. So when it comes down to the free version, it works, it's slower, it's not as good, but it still gets the job done for a lot of people. I've had a really good time with even the standard free version of ChatGPT. That pro model is just going to be a more extended, more like a comprehensive version of that standard ChatGPT. So it gives you all those things that I listed before, but it's also going to still be a good version of, you know, ChatGPT, it's just going to be $200, right? It's going to be better. It's the best one you can buy, but it's $200 a month. In my opinion, I don't think I would go from the free version of ChatGPT to the pro version of ChatGPT. I think what I would rather do is I think I would rather go to the plus version of ChatGPT and try that out. If you're a student, you actually get access to the plus version right now for free for a little bit of time. So that might be something to kind of think about. I would probably recommend just going through and installing it and just seeing if you want to try it out. If you love it, then stick with plus. If you still need a little bit more, then definitely go for the pro version. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well then.